Hey guys, I'm Theo Joe, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can double your RAM for free using methods that most people don't even realize are possible, but it's actually surprisingly easy. So I'm really excited to show you how to do it. We're gonna be taking advantage of some optimization techniques known as stochastic optimization, sometimes referred to as simulated annealing among computer scientists. Whatever you call it, it essentially allows the RAM to handle twice as much data as normal, so it effectively doubles the capacity of the RAM in your computer. And if you have really high-end, high-quality RAM, it's very possible that it would more than double the capacity. Now, don't worry if you don't understand any of the science terms, it's actually really easy. It just takes a little bit of patience, and I'm going to walk you through every step. So let's go over to the computer and I will show you exactly how to do it in Windows. Okay so here we are at the computer and I'm just recording it right off the screen with a camera because we have to restart the computer a couple times but the first thing we want to do is see how much RAM we have right now, how much we're starting off with and we have 16 gigabytes and that's actually pretty good but of course we can always use more right? So the first thing you need to do is run a check disk on your computer to make sure that there's no files that are corrupted or anything like that. So, so when we go to do the upgrade, everything is all set. And this is actually pretty important. And to do that, all you have to do is go to the command prompt, type in CMD, and then you have to run it as an administrator. So you can just do that, right click, click yes, and then type in the following command. It's chkdsk space slash f and the slash F just means it's going to repair any files that it finds and then you can press enter and it's going to ask you when you want to do it and you have to do it after you restart so you can press Y and then hit enter and then the next time you restart it's going to run a check disk so we can restart it right now and I'm not going to go through the whole thing you can just let it run because it, you don't have to do anything with it so I'll come back after it restarts so let's do that right now Okay, so we just let CheckDisk do its thing and it booted right back into Windows in about less than 10 minutes. So now we're actually ready to do the real upgrade. So what you want to do is go to the Start menu and then go to All Apps and then go down to Windows Administrative Tools and then you want to go down to Windows Memory Diagnostic and again, you want to right click that up, there's no administrator so you just click on that and it's going to ask you whether you want to restart now to check for problems or if you want to check for problems the next time you restart the computer. We're just going to do it right now so make sure you save any work or anything just like it says or else it's going to be lost and then we can go ahead and click restart. It's going to restart and boot again into the memory checker. Okay so it's going to boot into the diagnostics tool and don't worry if it starts to run, what you need to do is press F1 to open up the options and then that'll pause the test and so we can change it to what we need to. Now all these different tests are designed to figure out how to optimize the RAM, your specific RAM for your computer. Basic doesn't do anything, it just reads the memory, it will not add any or anything like that. Standard will increase your memory a little bit but we're not really interested in that. We're going to do extended because this is specifically designed test to extend the amount of RAM. That's why it's called extended. And you can see how many more tests this one runs compared to the previous two. So it's going to really go in there and figure out how to optimize that RAM using some different techniques. So all you have to do is go down and highlight extended with the arrow keys and then press tab. And now you don't have to change the cache. I haven't found any difference in performance whether you put it on on or off or default. It goes faster with default so we're just going to put on default again, highlight that and press tab. And now we're going to get to pass count and this is where you need to decide how patient you are because the more passes you use the more RAM you're going to get. It's going to be able to do more tests and extend it even more and obviously if you do 15 that's where you're going to get about double if you do one or two it's not going to really increase it at all if any so what we want to do is type in 15 and then we're good to go you can press F10 and obviously when you do 15 
with the extended test, it's gonna take a while. It might take several hours, but you know, it'll be worth it. So I would recommend just letting this go overnight and uh, should be ready in the morning. And after it's done, it's going to reboot into Windows and then we can check again once it's ready. Okay, so it's the next day and I'm not exactly sure how long it took because I just let it run overnight, but obviously not that long. And the first thing you wanna do is make sure it works. So what you can actually do first is go into the event viewer and click on that. And there's gonna be a log for that optimization we ran. So you can go to Windows, System, and then scroll down to where it says Memory Diagnostics Results. And you can just right click that, hit Properties, and then go to Details. And then here it says Completion Type Pass. And that means that it worked. It was able to do some sort of optimization. And let me show you the results that we got. And here you can see that it just over doubled the RAM. Before we were at 16, now it's at 32.12. Kind of an odd number, but I'll take it. And I'm not sure what the experience index was before, but I think it went up. And so now we have more than double the RAM before. Went from 16 to about 32, and this was a great result. All right, so as you saw, we were able to double the amount of RAM in that computer. Your results may vary, but typically I found on several computers I've tried that doing 15 runs will actually double the amount of RAM typically. And if you have very cheap budget RAM, it might not increase as much, but it still should be a pretty significant increase either way. So why don't you guys all let us know how well this worked on your computer, how much of a RAM increase you got. I'm really interested to see how well this worked for other people. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you guys liked it. And if you want to continue watching, I've got some other cool videos on the right hand side. You can just click those or look in the description for the same link like if you're on a phone. And if you want to subscribe, I make a bunch of different types of videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I think you'll enjoy that as well. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys either in the comment section or on Twitter. So thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Have a good one.